cover with one small topic of Windows security, Windows Defender Application Control. So what is Windows Defender Application Control and how to we can configure this to its subject I will cover by the way. Okay, first I will tell you one small example. What is Windows Defender Application? You think about this one. You have one servers or client application, client mission. Okay. You will run different different softwares and also different admin Windows server admins will be run a different software. So they will not recognize this software is good or harmful of the system. Maybe sometime it's harmful. After installation, they will open the back door of the hackers. So uh, exploit the system. So we need to prevent. So this Windows will be provided on best example of Windows Defender Application Control. You can prevent this. So this is I think you can understand what is the aim of Windows Defender application control. So I will just explain you this what okay. What is WSC? Protect your servers and client operating system against malware and untrusted software. Hardware and software based security system that restrict the execution of application to those that are exploited trust. Controlling what application a user can open their machines. It's this is the normal uh, normal explanation. If you need more reference, you can get in the Microsoft official documentation. So next, how do we can configure WSC? First, we need to install WDC application visa. After that, we need to run the PowerShell to implement. Then we need to implement the group policy edit. So first, we need to download the application. So I will show you how to we can do application and the websites. Here is the website WDC policy visa. Also, you can search in this one WD. AC wizard. See after that you can download from here. See you can download. So now you, I am already download, so I will leave now. So after download, once you can inst start installation, and also I will show you one. See I will now install. I will now download also one forty application for the tips. I will show you the what difference of. The, after the WT insert and before. So now I will open the putty. See, now you can open the putty applications. Okay, after WT insert, we will try to run the putty. One, one, I will show you what happened. Okay, first, okay, I will run the WT application now. Uh, the same before, okay. I will open WT application. I am already installed that's why they will ask me for the reinstall but I will launch now before I will go to this PC I will make one folder already I make you can you also make one folder WDAC okay so I will create one policy multiple policy format you want to do this one and single policy format multiple create a supplementary Windows 10 version and my system is Windows 11 but I will go for single policy format. Just click the single policy format. Then click the next button. Then default Windows mode. This means all the default Microsoft based applications you can implement. Only you can install this. Hello Microsoft mode. This is this one. All Microsoft signed application also you can install. Signed and repeat mode. All the sign and I will go for sign and repeat remote sign and repeat remote PTP authorization Windows OS Common Microsoft Store application Office 371 drive WS signed Canon drive all Microsoft signed application. So whatever this one you can select whatever the base template you want. Okay, but I will go to the sign and repeat remote and I will click next and I will browse my software. I think already and I put one name the place. Okay then save then I will click next and you, here you can implement the ports whatever the policy you need to enable whatever the policy is not to enable and also here is advanced option also you can then boot out global and disable and person moment like this one. and all the policy WSU policy is audit mode default what is the audit mode in the default Training audit mode will not be enforced the policy we recommend first running the policy in audit mode right 
if you run the audit mode you can also install the application if you not run the audit mode you cannot install the application because this will be blocked from WC policy template so but now I will show you with without audit mode okay but better you put the audit mode and this type of a policy before implementing you should be run in the test device okay but this is demo purpose I will install I will show you without audit mode and just I click next this is all the allow application whatever is not allowed and after that I will click next so my policy is created you can go for see the folder this PC this one and WDC see now policy is implemented so next step we needed to implement this policy in the PowerShell go for PowerShell ESC okay I am already copy here my PowerShell command we need to convert policy XML file path file path C WDC minus binary file path same format c triple u d a c so after that we will in this application so we implement our policy through powershell Next step, what we need to enable the virtualization. So we need to edit our group policy. Go for GP edit. GP edit. So I will go for GP edit. Then administrative template. Then system. After that, you need the base card. We need to find out the, our the base card. device card so here we need to turn on the virtualization based security and deploy windows defender application control we need to edit this policy first of all we need to enable secure dma protection mode whatever the default and which is based enable without lock crucial enable without lock if you enable if you enable with the password once you're operating the port, then you are operating the boot, you need to enter the password then you need to enter the password so I will apply this one so the policy will be and we need to windows enable windows defender so we need to copy our the file path must be in the UNC path for example server so the local path we need to copy our local path here code integrity I think we have already from here so it's easy to copy this one copy then we will paste here so I paste here after that I will apply so then ok see now the both of us for we need to update our group policy because this take time otherwise it take time so open cmd ok gp update slash force So after that we will wait for another updation. Okay, great. Now we need to restart to our mission. Okay, I will plan to restart. Okay. So I will restart now. Just wait for after the restart. Okay? Start in May. Okay, section will be discovered.
so we need to check our policy is implement or not before i show you i will now check what we can install or not so we now see we are successfully implement our wc policy your organization use it to windows different application control block this application so thank you for everyone i think you can understand if you have any doubt just come i will reply for your comment thank you for and if you like my video just like and subscribe thank you so much